Hey guys, what's going on? We are back with another Dragon Ball Legends tutorial video. Um, today we're going to be talking about the, the gameplay actions inside the game. Um, essentially, just what we're going to do is, is talking about how you actually maneuver within the game, how to use your character, how to dodge, how to do all that other basic stuff, alright? So, we're going to go to the earlier chapters because there's less people coming after you. I just want to show you some basics. So, um, let's go all the way down to book one. Oh, look at this. There's, this is, it's just new. I don't know why it's new. Is there something new in here that I haven't done yet? Some reward or anything like that? Uh, I don't know, but we're not going to do that one right now. Uh, so we're going to hit back. And we're going to go up to book two, a new encounter. Let's see how many two people here. All right, so um, essentially, uh, in terms of the mechanics of the game, I've already said this in the last video for the introduction of, of navigation. You want to go up with a team. You select your team before you hit start battle. I'm going to go and bring the weaker team just because I, I want to survive a little bit longer. I mean, they're going to demolish anyway, um, but let's go in here anyway with a with a pretty weak team. Here we go. We got a one star Krillin, um, so we could use him on this level just because he um, he's not going to destroy them with one hit. I'm also going to bring like Vegeta and uh, Shallot. Shallot is your main character in the game, if you guys are wondering. He's the main character. I don't think you actually need to do anything with him. He's just uh, so far the only light character. I don't know if we're ever going to get another light character. I don't know if we're ever going to get any dark characters for use. I think if we got a dark character, it would be a little bit OP. So I think Shallot is the only one that is kind of like not like that. Anyway, we go and use our energy and here we go. This is the actual in-game play. So when you're in here, you move back. If you if you move backwards, like you you tap the screen and move back, you move back. Tap and, and move forward, you can move forward. If you if you just dab, if you like actually just like flick it backwards, flick it forwards, you do your move maneuvers, regular maneuvers, dash forward, and it moves you back one level. Um, that's a dodge right there. Uh, that's typical. You go through all this in your basic training, pretty much. Um, you move to the right. You can move to the left. If you tap the screen when the enemy's far away, you launch a key blast. If you're right next to them, well, you can let them do that. So we're going to dash forward, and now you can actually launch some melee attacks on them. And that's just some basic maneuvering. Sometimes they will dash towards you. If they if they try to come at you with an attack, you will see a little exclamation point. Then you tap like to the right. See how I just move to the right? That that moves me out of the out of the way. If he fires a key blast and you go like that, you're fine. If you, you see an exclamation point, that means he is going to launch an attack at you and you could vanish like that and you get up right next to him. Typically you either want to do a, a melee um, a melee attack by just tapping like I was telling you before, just tap, 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 essentially button mashing. Or if you do that, that is a great way for you to like just launch um, a, a melee attack, an arts card. So as you see on the screen, we have a couple different arts cards. Um, these are the melee cards right here. Um, this is the melee arts card. Uh, then we have, this is a key blast art card, that's the yellow one that just came here. The one to the right is a regular green arts card. Um, the green arts card will increase, it will either increase your uh, damage output, increase your blast damage, or increase your melee damage. Look at what it says when you do that. Um, you also have your basic abilities over here, you hit to the left, it's the results of training. It usually lets you know what it's going to do for you, if, if it will increase. On the bottom of the bar over here, if you have any buffs, like here, let's go switch over to Vegeta real quick. When we use Vegeta's, as you see on the bottom bar, um, you have his health to the left. I just use his Princess Pride, and now you see a Key Blast damage up. So, if I want to now, I go and I launch Key Blast. And it obviously destroys him because he's so much more powerful. He's like level 700, going up against level like 10, you know? But you could do that. If he launches a Key Blast, you can go to the left, you can go to the right and avoid it. Um, when you do this... You see that little bar that's right there with the uh, little running guy filling up? While that's trying, while that's still filling up, you cannot do another dodge. But you can switch out an opponent. So, like, I could switch out for Krillin right now, and now he can dodge, right? And if I dodge with Krillin, if I go like that and dodge with Krillin, let's see if we can get him to do it. Usually they'll go two or three times, and then they'll try to attack you. Yep, there we go. Now his bar's gone, now I switch over, and now I have Shallot, and now I can dodge again immediately. For, if you're brand new, it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to something like that, but you definitely can. There we go. Strike damage up, blast damage up, as you see on the bottom. Um, and you can do those dodges in order for you to avoid getting hit. It is a pain in the butt. Sometimes the mechanics uh, either don't work or you're just doing it incorrectly. I have some problems, specifically with Vegeta. I don't know why it's only with Vegeta. When they launch an attack, I usually can't dodge in enough time, but it happens. You know, and sometimes it's frustrating, especially when you're playing PvP. Now, that's just some basic stuff. That was a, just a basic tutorial of how you move around inside of the uh, inside of the game. Let's go over to one of the harder uh, levels, so that way I can show you how much more intense it gets as you play around. 
Uh, we're not going to do this. Actually, you know what? We will do the Saiyan head because I know I can beat the, the Goku. Plus, I need some of these for Paikuhan, the Super Soul 2s. Uh, so that way I can get him to uh, send it. Let's go over here to my Saiyan team. My Saiyan Well, actually, no. We're going to do the, just the Sparking team. Um, the Saiyan Boost team doesn't benefit Paikuhan whatsoever. So we'll go ahead and we'll just we'll just do my Sparking team. Um, anyway, there we go. Let's jump into that. Actually, it probably wouldn't have mattered because the Saiyan Boost would have helped Goku. So we have Goku. Goku is a strength. He obviously is better than the yellow, uh, has advantage over the physical, the yellow card. Um, and we're going to bring these. These are my three primaries that I use. The Goku, the Vegeta, and the Piccolo. I'm not going to bring Vegeta because he has type disadvantage. So we're going to bring Paiku on. Um, and we're going to hit ready and we're going to start and play the battle. Uh, you have an energy tank. You have up to 10 stamina at once or 10 energy at once. You could refill them with a, with a refill gauge. Um, and you also have the skip ticket, which skips the battle and gives you an estimate of if you want to win or not. Um, anyway, here we go. Clear conditions. Get Goku's health 20% or below. So right now we have Goku over here. He's going to do a little bit of damage. He's going to do a lot more. Automatically launching key right at the beginning of the level. We're going to go over here. If you both use key at the same time, um, you will cancel each other out. He can dodge too. Your enemies will dodge against you. Um, right here, this is the Dokabachi thing where we have our taps. You want to try to get your meter all the way up. Over 900 is typically good. Really, you want it over 950. Again, I'm going up against the computer, so it's not a big deal. Um, here we go. We're going to use that, and then we're going to rush him. And I know you guys learned about this in your tutorial. You can go into the tutorial. You get your Dragon Balls on the right-hand side to land a Rising Rush. Now, I'm going to teach you something about the Rising Rush that I really that I learned after some time playing for the past couple weeks. Um, let's go over here real quick. We're going to use Goku's last one to knock him back. Um, now, typically what you want to do... Oh, yeah, there we go. I, I forgot to dodge because I was thinking about you guys. Um, anyway, so... We're going to launch his special. There's my turn, right? So that way he has his that come up next, right? Now, this is what I typically do with a Rising Rush when I get it, right? Um, I will go, and I will launch a Key Blast. If he doesn't dodge the Key Blast, let's do that again, then I'll do him launch a Rising Rush, because he's already knocked back. He cannot dodge the Rising Rush at that point in time. Because he cannot dodge the Rising Rush at that time, I know it's going to hit him. And then it goes to the animation, and the Rising Rush, and it's finished off, and you have no problems. Uh, it does all three attacks. Typically, the melee will go first, and the, the, the energy wave guys will do theirs next. There we go. We got him down to one health. It's under 20%, and that's how I won this battle. Um, so that's how I do the Rising Rush. Another time I'll do a Rising Rush, especially in PvP, is if your opponent literally just vanished, launch a melee attack or launch a Key Blast. Key Blast is better to launch because it qu has quicker activation from what I've seen. And it's harder to defend against. The only other defense other than dodging um, is using another key blast. Um, or if you, you could overpower by doing a, a, a special attack, which you saw me, which you saw me had ready available. Um, so you could do that. But that's essentially what you want to do. So we're going to go over here. We're going to do one more time. And I'm just going to pretty much just play through like I would normally play. Uh, just to try and kick some butt. So again, we're going to use Goku. We're going to use Piccolo. And we're going to bring Paiku on. Um, everyone on my team, and now this is going to be more for my team building gu uh, guide when I go over it. All six of them people, they all have their own special unique abilities. They will, if they have a Saiyan buff or a, a specific attribute buff, they will buff the players I use. Unfortunately, there's not a lot that will buff here, but um, they are they are available. So here we go. I, he dodged mine because I did an attack. Usually when you do an attack right off the bat from the start of the battle, the enemy will dodge. I usually do that just because I know that I can launch some attacks at them. Um, if they are rushing you... If they are rushing you, you can um, you can throw a key blast. That's just if they go like that to you, to get up to you. You could do that if they're doing like a regular like um, if they're actually doing that, um, a melee attack, a melee arts card. They can you will deflect that key that key blast. Anyway, we're gonna do key blast. We're gonna do key blast, and then we're gonna rush him because Goku has better rush powers. And then we're going to hold the screen. Oh, by the way, I didn't say this yet. You have to hold the screen to charge your key meter. Definitely want to do that. Um, while you're charging, it's very difficult to dodge. I don't even think you can dodge. Um, so here we go. Okay, we have my turn, right? Now, this is one other thing I want to tell you guys about. If you're trying to, like, use up, like, get your Doki Bachi uh, bullcrap ready, you can go and you could use a melee launch. And then you could just go to the right halfway through in order for it to get canceled out. That time it didn't work, but you would hit the melee, go back as far as you can, like I am right now, actually go back further, and then you would hit the melee button, and then as soon as you hit the melee button, just, just tap to the left or tap to the right, and it will cancel it out, and you'll get your Dragon Ball for the Doka Gabachi. I also just did the dodge, the vanish. If you do the vanish and launch an attack right afterwards, you usually can land it without any problem. 
that's Goku's special right there that he has available when you launch his special skill. Um, so that's what you got. So special skill, special move are two different things. A special skill is a special skill of the person that you click when there's a special timer. Again, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Oh, I forgot about the friendship levels. Those friendship levels as well. When your friendship level gets to max, it's usually about 250 runs with one character. Um, you can teach Shallot their special. So that's pretty damn cool as well. Um, but that's pretty much just basic navigation in the game. Uh, you want to dash forward to try and go after them. You dash backwards. Um, actually, I have seen um, for certain special moves where if you dash backwards once while they're trying to come after you, if it's like a melee, you will actually avoid it. And the same thing with regular melees. I think I've seen it. I'm not sure if it was regular melee or not, but I believe if a regular melee, you should, you may be able to avoid it um, as long as you step back once. I think they stop chasing you after a certain time. I know special moves usually only have a radius of up to two. Um, like that when you when you dash backwards, you would dash backwards once you're at a small distance. You could dash back a second time. So I know when you launch a special move, if there's a two blast area or two blast radius, if you dash backwards, if they're coming towards you, you could actually avoid it. Very very interesting to note that. Um, anyway, I'm back over to the home screen. We're going to go over to PvP. You can actually access it from the menu over here in the middle, right on the right-hand side, the middle right-hand side. I usually just go to the main screen and go to PvP. Now, I know I said this to you guys before, when you're going to PvP, you really want to get a good team ready. Um, I don't use any of the boost characters. I just bring who I have on my sparking team. That's primarily because I'm not really actually trying to place at all. So let's go into the rankings match. It's going to go and try and search for someone for me to fight up against. It tries to match you up with someone around your level and your skill. Sometimes it can't find someone, and when it can't find someone, it usually matches you up with like Piccolo or Vegeta. It's pretty much a CPU, and you can actually just utilize that to increase your score. Not great, but what can you do? Um, one thing that I heard a lot of people saying is that people will just back out of the event. I have not personally had that happen to me yet in PvP, where someone backs out halfway through the match, so that way we break even. But I heard that it does happen. Um, and don't do that. Don't be that person. You're having fun. If you lose, you lose. Um, that's really it. There we go. See, they couldn't find anyone, so it sends me up against Piccolo. Um, pretty much it's the same thing. You do have an advantage. You have one full minute to look at your opponent's team and see who you want to take against them to see if you could beat them. Like, Goku is physical, so I'm going to bring my strength Goku. We have two techniques, so you know one of them is going, could possibly be very high chance of being there. So I'm going to take my Vegeta. And then we have Krillin, who is physical. And then you have Shallot, who doesn't really have anyone who's strong against him in-game. So we're just going to use one of mine against him. Uh... Just like you saw here, they are all very low level, so it doesn't really matter who I bring. I could bring type disadvantage and still kick his butt, but I want to let you know you could at least do that. So we're going to go in. I really want to go up against someone strong in PvP because I want to show you how uh, how crazy things can get. Because a lot of the times the the uh, the levels or the, the, the matches come down down to the freaking wire. I mean, there's been so many matches where there, there we go, to Doki Kabachi thing, whatever the heck it is. Boom, there we go, 919. Um, where it's literally down, we're both down to the last freaking health bar, and there's no one left, except for each of our own, um, own guys, and we only have, like, a fraction of health bar left. And it, it does, it gets very, very intense. So, there we go, event, that's for the new event that's out right now. Um, also, you get your adventure cards from here. In my last video, um, I did not, I wasn't able, I didn't have any adventure cards there, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. It's pretty simple. Go here into the adventure, start adventure, select your adventure, hit accept. You usually have to pay a thousand coins, it's or two thousand if it's a level two. Per level, it's usually that amount of coin. Click on the details option. You best element is technique and or physical, and you have success rewards that are over here. So we're just gonna go over here. We're gonna throw a piccolo up in that. The characters are still usable when you start the adventure. So go ahead and hit start adventure. I could still use Piccolo. I have 1.1 million Zenny right now. I go into the start menu. I do the next one. The top three for adventure, you could always use. We need strength or the technique. So we're just gonna go over here and send this Krillin up in there. And uh, yeah, we're good. Send Krillin on out on that adventure. And hopefully he comes back uh, successfully. Uh, we're gonna go back into the missions real quick. We're gonna collect my mission reward from the adventure. That's got, or the, uh, the special that's going on, uh, the special event. We got 10 skip tickets, which is pretty damn awesome. And you know what we're gonna do? We're going to do one more PvP, and we're going to see if I can get um, someone in here uh, to help me out to, so that way I can fight against them. And we will uh, I should hopefully be able to show you the in-game mechanics and how crazy things can get. Uh, if we do find someone that I go up against and they're high level, yeah, okay, um, they are high level, so this is going to be intense. Um, I am going to have to uh, show, I'm going to have to pretty much be, be quick about this, and I'm not going to be talking a lot. So anyway, here we go. We're going up against Gustavo RZ. Hopefully, I can kick his butt. I'm gonna try to do some like um, some some talking while we're while I'm going up against him, um, some verbiage so that way you know what's going on. But it's, it is pretty damn difficult uh, because 
it's so it's so real time that you need to you need to pay attention and focus you can't just half-ass your pvp matches um anyway so we're going over here we both we're both kind of like playing the timid we don't want to launch the first attack neither of us want to launch the first attack Damn. Yep, he can't. He got me good. He got me good there. No. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. We're good now. He's gonna. He can't dodge that, so we're gonna throw my Goku's out. Cause he already dodged. I know I can go up after him. We're gonna be good. Oh, we're going up against Broly now. Damn. Well, Broly. It's the one thing about Broly that sucks. I have type disadvantage against him. Boom! 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 No, Piccolo, we're switching to Piccolo mode. Let's see, all right, we good now, nope. See, now I'm going, I'm using my Piccolo. He already dodged. Um, we both used the Doka Gabachi. We gotta hopefully get, oh, uh, 918. Oh, cool, I beat him. All right, awesome. Um, as soon as that's done, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use this time while he's moving back to go ahead and increase, um, to, to increase my key. Then we're gonna go do a special beam cannon that will kill him. This is a very intense, like, this is a little bit of an easier match going up against him. Uh, how, you know what I wonder? I wonder how Goku has a different uh, outfit on. Maybe it just, it happens automatically. I don't know. Um, we're going to switch over to Vegeta real quick. Um, and then we're going to switch over to, uh, back over to Piccolo if my health goes down anymore. So that way he can uh, heal me up. Vegeta has really high uh, key blast damage. So I want to make sure that I can go and utilize that properly. Uh, see how I dashed after him again? I want to make sure that I can... Oh, no, 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 damn it. I, I, I flipped, flicked it backwards, and uh, that kind of killed me there. He might dodge. Yep, he dodged. All right, we're going to switch back over to Piccolo. We're now going to heal. We're going to go and try to get out of his way. Yep, there we go. And because... Ooh, no, no, no. Oh, damn it. I, I hit it uh, too late. You gave him enough time to dodge against me. Uh, that kind of sucks. Piccolo does have high health and high defense. So he is a lot easier to use to try and avoid uh, a lot of damage. Now we're going to go over here. We're going to go and start charging up my key again. He is a very defensive player, I just realized. Um, it kind of sucks going up against defensive players because there we go. Now I know I'm golden. We're going to switch back over to... Um, oh, I didn't want to do that. I want to switch over to Vegeta. All right, come on. So we're going to switch over to Vegeta. We're going up against him now. Fuck, he just used his Rising Rush. Damn it. Um, typically with Rising Rushes, you only have a couple seconds. I'm going to pick the, 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 the power. Uh, you have... The enemy has a lot higher chance of using melee or or uh, key blasts, right? So because he has the key blast or the power, you're going to want to choose those most of all out of everything else. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't do anything with that. He dodged. Now I know he is open for attack, so I can go up against... And again, I'm, I'm, I'm talking a lot right now. And it definitely makes it harder. Uh, there we go. Now I'm going to hit a Rising Rush. He got hit with my Key Blast. He cannot dodge the Rising Rush now. I'm going to go use this card over here because I know um, he's chances of him actually selecting the Green Arts card. Oh my gosh, he actually did? That's insane. Um, damn it, now we have Piccolo. See, now as I'm talking about coming down to the wire. There we go. Boom, and now he's gone. Um, it's a very, it, it, that was not as intensive as it usually is, uh, we usually go back and forth and we usually do some crazy things, I went over up against a very, very defensive player, but just know that's how it is, um, also when you see these, uh, light blue cards over here, that is typically an urgent and it goes away within a half hour, or, yeah, yeah, about a half hour, so we're gonna have to go into the, the, um, missions or the adventures right now and add that but that's pretty much how you want to do it you want to be able to dodge you want to use your um ad your advantages while you can piccolo is a healer and a defender so i want to make sure everyone got a little bit of damage before i use piccolo's heal that way i could uh expand the amount of time i have to live uh because he won't heal everyone to 100 percent so i want to make sure you do it the right way uh, by making sure everyone takes a little bit of damage and then healing them up uh, anyway, we're going to go over here to the Urgent. We're going to take it. Details are going to be uh, physical and agility. So we're going to go ahead and throw Tien and Raditz. And we'll throw the two of them there. Requirement is $2,000 or 2,000 Zenny, and we're fine. And then we're going to go collect some more of these mission rewards. That's pretty much in-game play. Um, you want to dodge. You want to swap out your units so that way... Or, yeah, you want to swap out your characters. That way your, your, your um, Vanish Gauge meter automatically gets renewed. Um, and you're just waiting for them to switch back. 
If you have type disadvantage, try to switch out as quick as you can, and that's really about it. Oh, uh, one other thing that I did want to say, because I there's no real good uh, indicator as to what the heck this even is. Um, you go into the story mode, right? And let's just say we're going up against the rat, the one of the Nappa events. Um, we're going to go over here. We're going to do one of the easier ones, just because I know I can do it without any problems. Uh, reward. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll get some of them. So we can use a skip ticket. I have 120 of them. You use the skip ticket. It says requires one energy and requires one skip ticket. All it does, you hit yes. It takes the team that you have selected, and it, it gives you an idea of if you're going to win or not based off of the power levels. And if you have a higher power level or a lot of good units, you're automatically going to clear it, and it's going to give you items. Now, we're going to talk about items and team building in a different video, so stay tuned for that. But I just want to make sure you guys got the understanding of how to do the in-game play mechanics. Sorry for a little bit of a longer video, but that's what happens when you do two story modes and two PvP. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Let me know if I forgot anything. Let me know what techniques you have been using to benefit yourselves, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace and have a good day.